So I kind of screwed up. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> hey y'all, Toby here coming at you. So, yeah, I screwed up, um, in my mind, in my opinion. I did a, a live stream a couple months back in March announcing my channel name change, right? Did a great live stream, had some great participants, awesome people, and in the aftermath of that awesome live stream, I went out, whoa, he ran the heck out of that. In the aftermath of that live stream, I went through the process of, you know, yeah, getting a couple, getting some stickers and some other stuff, whatever. And then I started noticing a problem. Houston, we have a problem. I would hit up people or ask me, hey, you know, somebody stopped by the house. Hey, what's your channel? And so I would tell them, and they couldn't find it. So what was the problem? How did I screw up? Well, I screwed up because I was so focused on keeping my part of my name involved in my channel t name that I kind of and so focused on the availability of that name, the channel name, that I didn't consider the commonality of the name or how searchable or lack or, or rather unsearchable, how hard it was to find it. <laughs> Man. I think I realized, holy crap, people are never going to find my channel without, whether, I gotta, whether I give it to them on a sticker or not, because I typed it, I used the sticker and I used other variations just to try to find the channel name. No luck. Originally, those of you that know, I had changed my channel name to Northern Adventures, because I didn't want to put out my first name and my last name. I wasn't a big fan of that. I know people out there have them, but it's never too late to secure yourself. So anyway, problem was when I started looking for Northern Adventures, the way I had it spelled, I kept finding nothing but Northern Adventures with the R kept coming up. Everything I searched. I tried, so I was on there trying different naming conventions and capitalizations and da underscores and dashes and dots and everything. I was trying all sorts of stuff. And no matter how I tried a variation of Northern Adventures, nothing would bring up my channel. It would always bring up some Alaskan exploring thing or something. I mean, you know, whatever, Northern Canada, Alaska, whatever, you know, like, climbing stuff I could never find mine I thought about it and the problem with that was I was so focused on keeping that design with the N in my name that I finally was I was like this is just not, I think I'm forcing it too much you know I'm so locked in on it I'm not being flexible enough you know so and this is where the hat comes in the good tip for y'all my name my channel name is going to change again but how did i do it this time this time i used open ai i used chat gtp and y'all that thing is incredible i mean i am learning how to use it better what i am also learning is the more detail you put in your search engine for chat gtp the more detail you put the better your answer is going to be or more I don't know if I'd say accurate, but it might be more towards what you're looking for. I'm still playing around with naming conventions for my channel name, but I'm refining it more based upon me as a person. My likes, dislikes, military service, my passion for riding, passion for helping others in the motor vlogging community and other bikers and whatever have you, all those types of things. And it's tweaking the title and giving me different options based upon what I tell it. Once I have a few names narrowed down to what I like, I'll try those in the search engine to make sure that nobody else has. Because I also don't want to steal parts of other people's names that have come up knowing that those names are out there. Yes, it's almost an impossible idea because there are so many of us out there doing this stuff, getting a channel name and trying to make sure nobody else has it, it can be a challenge, but it's not impossible. The takeaways, as far as I'm concerned from this, are one, don't get so wrapped up in certain aspects unless those are so passionate, it's something you don't want to give up in a channel name or a brand. Second thing is, remember to use the tools you have available to you. I will tell you, if you're trying, if you're thinking of starting a channel, just do it. But at the same time, do your research, because I did research. I did a lot of research, checked my name. Strangely enough, I did check my name for making sure it wasn't out there, like the way I was spelling it. The problem was the YouTube search engine, the algorithm, does not take into account the detail of my name. I mean, no kidding. 
I even put quotation around the way I had my name. I had it with, you know, some of you all have seen it in live streams, the way I do it with a capital E and capital N on the very end of it. I did that, I did that with quotations, like you do in a Google search, when you want to make sure and emphasize a particular word. I even did that. Nothing. Still didn't bring my channel name up specifically. I scrolled down through a couple of pages and it wouldn't even find it. Do your research. Make sure a name that you're looking for is unique enough to where it comes up in a search engine. Chat GTP can help with that too. But that's all I have for now. Keep an eye out. The name will change will come. I'm not going to do another live stream to announce it officially. I'm just going to make the change. Because I, I don't mind doing live streams, y'all. Just over the sake of a name change. That live stream alone was like three hours long. And I had a blast doing it. I don't want to tie everybody's time up like that. I really appreciated everybody who joined. And I appreciate you taking this long into the video to watch this and understand where I'm coming from. We all have lives to live and lead. And I'm not trying to keep anybody tied up for three or four hours at a time on a live stream myself unless there's just nothing else to do <laughs> unless we're just having too much of a damn good time anyway y'all thank you so much for tuning in this long with me like i said name change will come i'll announce it on instagram or on tiktok in my channel itself not going to do anything big and flashy but it is going to change but make sure the future for you for starting a channel before you do anything you're going to brand it make sure it's something that you like if you're going to make logos on hats or you got to think about that kind of stuff the branding the merchandising if you're going to do any of that stuff is that something you want to carry on a piece of cloth all right well that's it for now hey, if you have any ideas suggestions or things to consider keep in mind put them in the comment box below let me know i'll definitely take them into consideration until the next video y'all check out one of these videos here y'all ride safe you stay healthy and god bless